Hey guys, welcome back to my neck of the woods. My name is Dika, where I share my experience and knowledge, hoping to lessen your learning curve. So today I'm out setting up a ground blind. I'm gonna do a little review on it. I've used this ground blind before. It's rather inexpensive. I buy them off Sportsman's Guide. I believe they're $90. Made by a company called Huntright. This is called the Huntright Adrenaline. I'm not gonna um, show you how I set it up. It's the same as any other pop-up blind. We unfold them and then you, a little pressure to open them and then uh, we set it up from there. Like I said, you just kind of unfold it and each individual section, up, oh, unfold it the other way, right? Ugh. Unfold it this way. And each individual section pops out like so. Like that. Here. I have the windows down on it. I had it set up somewhere else. So, I guess I am going to show you how I set it up. So, I just spin around. And, push one more side. And over here. It up. It's a good little blind. I use a crossbow now, so I don't need a lot of room inside my blinds. It's a good color. I like the color. I like that it's not super shiny. Granted, I've had this out, so it's um, it's been weathered a little bit, but it's not shiny. It's not a real noisy material, which is good in a, in a, a ground blind. So you set it up. It's got it's got three windows. And a small window in the back. So I'm gonna probably set it up again this way for the most part. And my back over there. And so it's got three blinds and uh, actually I'm gonna spin it around to show you the back. The three windows and the back window is um, unique uh, if you like how you get into a blind or whatnot. But the back window kind of opens up like a like a garage door and you're able to get inside. Stay tuned, I'll show you when I get it set up and uh, what it looks like, all right? So here it is set up. It's really not bad, brushed it in just a tiny little bit. It comes with um, the tie-on ropes on one, two, three, all five of the connections, including the top. So there's no issues with that. It comes with more than enough stakes and um, stay tuned, I'll show you what I got on, on the inside. All right, so here I am, I'm inside the blind now. Um, as far as the windows and the visibility, I think it's good, it's no issue. They do have the shoot through mesh. Um, I don't use it, I kind of fold it through and then I use the little loops on the other side to put like brush in it to help brush it in. Um, I did buy um, a new seat that I have here, which isn't gonna work for this blind because this is kind of where I am at eye level sitting on this seat. So I'm, I, I kind of have to duck a little bit. So I'll have to use one of my other seats that are uh, just to lower to the ground. Um, as far as the door in the back, which makes it kind of unique here, it kind of opens up, like I said, like a garage door. Um, it, it's kind of a pain, it really is. I think it would be good for maybe a kid that has trouble like you know, it's stumbling around out in the woods, or, or even a disabled hunter, if you had to get a wheelchair into, into a blind or something like that, I think, I think it'd be good. Uh, but otherwise, it, it's a good little blind, it's inexpensive, it's easy to pop up, you can get it up quick, and um, sometimes I, I have two of these, I have this one and I have another one, and sometimes I keep the other one on hand off of those areas that I just want to get in quick, hunt, and then sometimes I'll leave the blind and come back and uh, pop it down another day, but in and out, it's easy, it, does, it weighs almost nothing, and it's inexpensive. So that's my review on the Huntright Adrenaline Ground Blind. You can get them on Sportsman's Guide. Like I said, they're relatively inexpensive. But that's all I got for you. Be well, sub the channel.